Hello everyone. I hope you guys are doing excellent. So, believe it or not, today at our community, which is Lakeview at Highlands Ranch, I noticed a deer. Yeah, I mean, the first time I saw a deer, it was uh, about uh, 15 years ago. So, it's not a common thing that you see. And after 15 years, here we are. Another deer came by and was feeding off of the grass and vegetation down the hill from our house. Let's watch it together. So here we have, after nearly a decade and a half, for the second time, I see a deer in our community. Uh, this deer is a baby deer, but you know, it's not like a fully grown adult, but it's still a deer, very hard to spot in these areas this is very hard to spot and uh, now if you notice we are in the lakeview community so this is like not very far from uh, like full civilization and housing and whatnot so seeing this deer and uh, this uh, close to you know the communities and houses is quite uh, a unique thing. So this right here is Sweetwater Springs Boulevard and Hamasha Boulevard intersection with a gas station. So this thing is less than a mile from that. So the deer is just less than a mile from the intersection. So to a lot of you this may not seem very strange or out of the ordinary but actually is. Uh, this whole area is packed with, uh, with coyotes um, not only one or two coyotes, packs of coyotes. So for a deer to have the courage to come this high, um, it's really, really um, amazing. N and uh, these, uh, uh, these days, vegetation is, you know, hard to come by. So I'm guessing this is probably why this deer is roaming so far from the lake, from the Sweetwater Lake, that is. That's where actually you uh, see wildlife drinking water. So uh, if this is roaming that far from there, that means vegetation is really hard to come by there in that area. That it is taking all the risks and chances uh, to come and have a good meal up, up the mountain, up the hill. So the plant that it is feeding off of, uh, I'm not sure what that plant is, but it has some kind of a yellow little flowers on it. It's a mustard plant, maybe. I, I mean, mustard plant, they have those kinds of yellow flowers, but I'm not exactly sure. It's a wild, uh, wild plant, uh, so that's for sure. Now, uh, some of these deers, they have ticks, which is called deer tick. Now, those deer ticks are not... Uh, uh, something that you want to get too close to because if the tick comes uh, and uh, uh, you know like if it comes to your skin then you will have all kinds of pain and infection and it's some kind of a parasite and what have you so I don't know too much about deer ticks but just so letting you know that you don't want to get too close to wild deer so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go downstairs with my camera and sneak on it very very quietly to see if I can get a better shot including voice uh, the nature voice and the surrounding voice the audio I mean including the audio so that you can see what's going on and so just to put you in the in the perspective put put you put you in my shoes in that time in that moment to experience the nature and the deer as it's uh, roaming around the neighborhood. So I'm gonna go and sneak on it downstairs. So I am sneaking on this deer quietly. Hopefully I will not scare it off. Oh my God, I can hear it chewing the leaves. I can actually hear it chewing. Look at that, this is amazing. This is unreal. Look at that. You see that? Notice, notice the little, the little bug. 
I'm not sure if you can see, but there's a little bug, a little ladybug. The deer seems to be very healthy. It seems like a very healthy deer. Look at that. Ladybug, the little red ladybug is by the base of the deer's ear. Right now it's above its ear. There's a little red ladybug. Look at that. Oh my god, it's leaving. It's leaving. Don't go. Okay. Looks like it's going to another direction. Where is it going? I hope you enjoyed watching it. I keep the cameras rolling, as always, to capture wildlife and nature. Take care. <laughs>